it feels like spring is here and I have a three day weekend. So the only logical thing to do is go camping. And this here is one of my favorite places. This is on private property in Raymond, California. And this is my friend's property. I have camped here um, quite a few times. I have also gotten my first um, wild pig uh, a year ago. And I have also caught some fish in the river here. This is one of the forks of the Chowchilla River. So this place has a lot of happy memories for me. This will just be a very relaxing weekend for me, three days. And the nights are a little bit still cold. So I actually brought my wood burning stove and that's that tent behind me. It's kind of interesting because this tent is actually nylon. It's not canvas, but it had been designed to use with a wood burning stove. I bought it a year ago. I have only used it one time and I actually used this folding stove in it. It was a wood burning stove, but you could pack it up. I tried that and it actually worked out perfectly. That stove was from this company called Colorado Cylinder Stoves and this stove that i have now it's also from them and it's actually pretty small but it is a heavy duty cast iron stove i have their bigger version so i actually have three stoves from them and this is the first time i'm using it so it's brand new to me it will be perfect because the nights it's almost 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 freezing temperatures and i didn't want to bring a heater i wanted to do it the old-fashioned way and i got a new cot the cot i had I could not put it together the way it was supposed to be. I have struggled with it. So I just now got a new cot and so far I love it. I haven't slept on it yet. I just kind of laid on it, but opening it up and putting it together and closing it up is one second. It's no struggle. So far it seems like it's gonna work out. So I'm gonna show you later and then I'll let you know how that works out. Um, my friend will probably come by soon. He's gonna bring me some wood. So I'll probably make us some coffee and then tonight we're going to have dinner and my friend is invited so I'm gonna have company <laughs> which is not that often and we're gonna have a great big campfire and I can't wait. So this is what's happening in this video. A very good afternoon to you young lady. Hello. Hi Misha. Are you gonna get in? Huh? Of course. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You can't even stop her. Misha, what are you doing, doggy? She's like, let's go for a ride. Oh my God, she laid down in there. Misha, what are you doing? You silly dog. You so silly. <laughs> You're stuck, huh? Ooh, you brought me some wood. Thank you, thank you. If you are watching the show Yellowstone, and I'm hoping that you are because it's the best show out there. When I watch it, I feel like, man, I wish I had a place like that. If I lived in Montana, all those acres of places, I could just always be out there and I, I would just always camp and hunt and fish. Well, this place is, is like that. It's not that big, but it's pretty big. It's about 700 acres. So there are a lot of things to do here. Hunting, fishing, camping, hiking. Um, it's just so, so beautiful.
Misha, move. Cheers. To a good point. To the good life. Wow. Okay. Okay, it's cooked all the way. In the middle, it is pure.
need to buy a couple of crates to organize.
this stove is by Colorado Cylinder Stoves, and this model is a smaller version of the, the other ones, but it still heats up your tent very nicely, and it comes with everything that you can see here in the picture. So this one um, has these four legs, and they're actually adjustable, so they, they screw in, and if you're on uneven ground, you could screw it in more or less to make it even, so that's really cool and it still takes the standard size wood um i don't know if it's 12 inches or 14 i i don't really know but you obviously can't put a whole lot in it but you could really still pack it with wood and it will give out really nice heat and of course it has the damper so i mean it has everything that you need so if you're looking for a camp stove a wood burning stove i would recommend this I one i think it's a really cool thing to have it's a must if you camp in the cold and in the winter or in the snow because you could always use propane but propane is expensive and wood is available anywhere you go so might as well do that it's also a more old-fashioned feel and this stove will replace um, an actual camp stove that you cook on so you can actually get the heat and you can get your food cooked on it at the same time. So that's another reason why I like it. I also want to show you this really cool app on your phone that takes stargazing to a whole other level. So this is called Sky View, and I'm just using the free version. So what you do is you open it and then you point your phone to the sky. And this is really cool when you can actually see the stars, but if you can't see them, it will still work. But it's, it's more neat when you see the stars and you point your phone to them, like to whatever you see, whether it's a planet or a star or whatever, it will um, enlarge it and it will also give you their name. Um, it will show you the orbit and basically tell you what you're looking at. It gives you a little bit of information. And then if you click on it, it will actually open up a whole new page and give you a lot of information about that planet or star or whatever it is. And Interestingly, this will work even if you don't have cell phone service. So if you have nothing else to do, you're in the wilderness with no cell service. And especially if you have kids with you, little kids, middle school age kids, high school kids, grown ups, really anybody. It's, it's very educational and very interesting. It also shows you the constellations those stars are in. And another thing is you can point your phone towards the ground and it will actually see through our planet and still see all the stars that are on the other side. So this is really cool to play with um, when you're out there and you have nothing to do next to the campfire. Good morning, sweetie.
my final verdict on this cat is it's kind of okay I guess I would give it a rating of um, 8 out of 10 it's not as comfortable as the ones that are super tight so it kind of goes in a little bit but I think it's because um, the way it's put together you know you, you kind of have to decide what you want if you want a super super tight hard cut which is um, more comfortable then you have to deal with putting it together and for me I just I can't so I have to sacrifice a little bit of comfort for the convenience of putting it together so I think it's okay otherwise it's it's great um, it's the right size it's pretty long actually I think it's longer than the other one so that's basically it I don't remember how much it was it wasn't crazy expensive I know there are others out there that are like a couple of hundred dollars or even more that are much better but honestly I don't feel the need to spend that much money so it's okay I'll keep it it will be a keeper This weekend went by super fast. Not a lot has happened. I mean, I tried to fish in the river, didn't catch anything, which was no surprise to me. And I did not catch a pig. <laughs> and by the way, I love saying catching a pig or catching a deer. Some people get really upset about it. It's so stupid. You know, they get like all like, oh, well, we don't catch deer we hunt them and we harvest them and then they try to educate me on all this and I'm like relax dude it was a joke my daughter said it when she was much younger because she didn't know so I say it like that sometimes I think it's funny so anyways so I did not get a pig which also was not really a surprise but it was just such a wonderful weekend um, super nice weather kind of cold in the morning but that's just how it is I mean it's still February and the alternative is staying home and watching TV and work around the house and doing all those things yes I might have a better night's sleep but I can do that on the other nights so so that was okay thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time